Natasha Awerka Moore, uh, creative director for Alphanumeric Brand. Mirko Mangum, Alphanumeric, San Diego, California. Danny Reyes, apparel designer for Alphanumeric. Hi, I'm Mark Cruz, and I'm the art director for Alphanumeric. Well, the relaunch of Alpha um, really came about. I mean, collectively, we, while it was in on hiatus, we had a, basically a, a smoke break. And we're like, "Oh, let's do this!" And you know, we we met with uh, our original partner, and he was up for it. And you know, the structure is different this time. We do all the sales, marketing, design. We pick our vendors and all that fun stuff. You know, we came to the same page, and 90 days later, here we are. A good, a good aesthetics relative, I guess, but um, a defined aesthetic, and I think that is why it's kind of almost it. Well, you know, it's why it's so far it's doing really well. It's because it's got a defined brand identity. You know, I mean, everybody kind of has to chase trends to a certain degree, but it's really not that different than it was 10 years ago. I mean, graphically, yeah, there's some things, um, but in general, the the aesthetic's pretty much the same 10 years later. Education. Like, even if you don't, you know, if you're a high school dropout or, I mean, neither of us went to university, but we still read, we still stay abreast of the news, we still stay abreast of world affairs. I think ultimately, like, you've got this huge platform to say something, or, and, and it doesn't need to be preachy. It's just like, hey, you know what? Like, open your eyes. You know, and some people will get it, and some people won't, and some people will go, wow, that's a really cool shirt. I didn't know there was a message attached to it. And other people will just go, wow, that's a really heavy message. It is a relaunch. People are still really connected and tuned, and you know, one of the things we didn't do in the initial launch was put out all this brand messaging. So many people have been passionate and have their feeling or their idea about the brand, we basically opened the doors and said, we're coming back. So beating people over the head with a brand message isn't our goal. You know, you see we have no signage here. It's on purpose. You know, we have uh, probably 30 of the best retailers in the country and, you know, people from Sweden and Austria and Italy that all came here to see us. They're, you know, we're picking up where we left off, so we don't have this need to go out and just over promote. That is our message through the retailers and through the consumer. This is uh, our version of an M65. But basically, you know, aesthetically, a lot of like what Alphanumeric is about is, it's like really into streamlined stuff. No superfluous details, not, you know, yeah, it's technical, but technical doesn't need, mean you need all these straps and bells and whistles that most people don't use anyway. It's a windbreaker, waterproof zips, it's packable. This is more like, just like a chilly weather piece. It's, it's not waterproof, but it's wind resistant. It's actually micro fleece lined. So, it, you know, it'll keep the wind out and keep you dry. Super, super cozy piece. I'm sure you've seen a ton of buffalo plaid in the last few years, so this is our contribution. It's just a, a shirt silhouette that we did, that we've been running. Um, you know, a little bit of a different pocket detail. Classic short sleeve, hidden placket with two exposed buttons. It's a clean cardigan with pockets, on seam pockets. This is our contribution to the all over print, graph paper. This is, oh weird, a basic five pocket jean. Just paraffin wax, coating, you know, set increases. But, you know, not overdone, you know, not blown out, but just kind of a happy medium. So here are some of, uh I wouldn't even call it a message tee, a factual tee, and it shows just the average salaries, and it's called Choose Your Heroes, and 
you know, basically when I saw this shirt for the first time, I wanted to go back to all my elementary school teachers and uh, apologize. It's probably going to be a little hard to see, but it's obviously riot police with lies on the shield. And the text at the bottom actually says, lies will pass into history, meaning that everything we read in history books is, may or may not be factual. This was a mom's personal favorite at uh, the store we do in San Diego called Univ. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's actually kind of funny that the books are in a stack and closed, but it says open books. No explanation necessary, I'd imagine. Another one of our goals is like, yeah, you can be detail-oriented, detail but like, make them special. If you load something up with details, you're not looking for anything anymore. And, you know, at least for me as a consumer, like, it's the little, little details that are more exciting.